What girl doesn't like having bright colored luscious lips, right? I love them, but sometimes I'm absolutely fed up with my lipstick smearing everywhere. I'm never wearing you again! To avoid these awkward situations, you can actually make your own DIY lip tattoo using only two ingredients. You need a peel of face mask and food coloring. Start by squeezing a small amount of face mask into a little pot. Make sure you're using a peel of face mask, otherwise you're not gonna get the same tattoo effect. Grab some food coloring using a toothpick and mix it in the face mask. Here I'm using red. You really don't need much food coloring for this, a drop is more than enough because this stuff is potent. I wanna try all the possible colors that I have, so I'm making a green, orange and blue lip tattoos as well. I'll show you four different lip tattoo colors, so I have four pots. Okay, all of them are ready, which one should I go for? Let's choose a classic red. Take a bit of this red gel on a brush and apply it all over those lips. It looks so glossy and epic, but this is just a temporary look because we're gonna be peeling it off in a few minutes. When your lips are all covered, you need to give the tattoo some time to dry. How much this takes, it depends on how thick layer you applied, but after a few minutes, it should be ready. Yay, my tattoo is dry, so I can peel it off. This is so weirdly satisfying. The tattoo gives a really lovely red color that looks completely natural, as you were born with such pretty rosy lips. And the best part, no prints on the tissue or even on the glass. I think this is so useful, yeah. especially for school, sports activities or other occasions when you don't have time checking up whether you have lipstick on your teeth. I'm gonna quickly show you the swatches of other lip tattoo colors as well. Now you can of course make crazy blue or green lips, but these are so useful for other things too. For example, you can draw little stars or hearts as temporary tattoos, or you can even make a fake teardrop tattoo using a blue color. These are so much fun to play with. I mean, look at these awesome colors. And they survived the tissue test as well, no smearing whatsoever. And don't worry, the color won't stay there forever. It stayed on me for a day and then it got wrapped away. me trying to pack too many things into a suitcase. It happens every single time. Luckily, there's a great traveling hack that will make our life so much easier. You can turn straws into cute little packages that will store all your skincare and beauty necessities. To make this, grab a straw, I went for a pink one and cut it in half. Take a bobby pin and slide it on a straw, leaving a bit of space between the straw end and the pin. Next, light a candle. Bring the straw close to the candle flame and move it slowly back and forth to melt the straw edge. The heat melts the plastic and seals the opening together, making our straw package completely waterproof. It's time to grab lotions, moisturizers, shampoos, etc. and fill up the little containers. Now we have to repeat the sealing technique on the other side as well. Melt the opening using a candle and your waterproof pockets are ready to travel the world with you. A good idea is also to write what's inside on the package so you don't mess up and end up washing your teeth with a moisturizer or something like that. This is seriously a genius traveling hack. Especially when you're going away for just a few days and you don't want to bring all the bulky beauty and skincare products with you. An old man once told me at the airport if he could go back in time, the only thing he would change in his life is to travel more and travel lighter. And this life hack makes it possible to travel light even for us girls that need a bunch of beauty products to survive every day. Hey, party tonight? Okay, see you there. These are all so boring. <gasps> I know! If you really want to make a statement with your lipstick, this life hack is perfect for you. We'll be making amazing glitter lips. I'll show you a couple of different variations and the first one is black. I don't have a black lipstick, so I'm using a black pencil eyeliner instead. A bonus hack right here. Use eyeliners as lip liners and vice versa. It's so much fun trying new color combinations. It's time for glitter. Ah, who doesn't love this part? Make sure to use cosmetic grade glitter since you're putting it on your lips. Load the brush with glitter and press it on the lips. If the lipstick or the liner that you used as the base is creamy enough, the glitter will stick on nicely. As you can see, I have no fallout at all. 
otherwise you can also use a thin layer of lip gloss to help the glitter stick in place. There you go, how gorgeous are these glitter lips? I think they are absolutely perfect for any party, New Year's, Halloween or other special occasions. They look so glamorous, special and just hands down gorgeous. Let's be honest, no lipstick could ever make such a statement. You don't have to go all vampy and dark with black lips as I did. You can use any lipstick color, here I chose red. I like the look when you match the color of lipstick with the color of glitter that goes on top. So now it's time to play with red glitter. Okay, load the brush with these sparkly beauties and gently tap it on the lips, leaving a beautiful glittery trace. Look at this perfection, come on now, isn't this the best thing ever? Just thinking about how many different colored glitter lips we can create makes me so excited about life. Pretty embarrassing, but I love it. Wow. No, no. Achoo! how much I love glitter but I hate how messy it is. Whenever I use it, it just flies everywhere and even days later I end up finding it all over the apartment. Ugh, so annoying. Luckily, I learned how to press my glitters which makes them so easy to use and not messy at all. First you have to choose a glitter that you wanna press. I'm going for this beautiful dark blue. Besides glitter, you will also need a bit of rubbing alcohol, glycerin and aloe vera gel. Take the glitter, pour it in an eyeshadow tin or pot and distribute it evenly. Suck some alcohol into a syringe and squeeze it in the glitter pot. You should have enough alcohol to cover the entire container. And don't worry if you put in too much because alcohol will evaporate eventually. Next you want to add 5 to 6 drops of glycerin. I'm using a dropper to do that but syringe or a simple spoon should do the trick. Lastly we need to add a bit of aloe vera gel and mix it well to distribute evenly around the container. Leave the alcohol to evaporate completely which can take up to a day. Once the product is all dry you're left with the amazing pressed glitter which is so much more practical and easy to apply than the usual usual loose version. You can use your pressed glitters exactly like eyeshadows, they are not messy at all but smooth to apply and great for travel. I also made one in yellow and I seriously wanna press all the other glitters that I own. They are so convenient. Nothing is better than a cool glitter eye makeup and now I can make it way more often because I know I won't have to deal with all the glitter mess afterwards. How amazing are these glitter eyes, right? There are so many other color combos I wanna try so I better start pressing more of my glitters right away. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> Epic fail at the hairdressers. We've probably all been there before, right? If you want to give your hair some funky color transformation but aren't sure how it will look on you, a great idea is to dye it temporarily first. And guess what? To do that, you can use your regular eyeshadows. I know it's hard to believe that you can dye your hair with eyeshadows, but trust me, they work like a dream. Grab an eyeshadow of your choice. I went for blue because, you know, it's my favorite color. Take a hair strand, press the eyeshadow against it like this and start moving down towards the hair tips. Look at this color payoff! Isn't it completely mind-blowing? Let's try it with purple as well. Grab a strand and press the purple shadow towards it. Pull the eyeshadow down and check this out. Wash-off hairsprays are super expensive and hair chalk is quite hard to find. But we all have eyeshadows at home already and they're so affordable. This life hack is perfect for parties, festivals, carnivals, Halloween or just every day. When you wash your hair, the color will get right off. It's great if you want to switch up the color of your hair but are not sure which shade will look the best on you. And no worries, this totally works on darker hair too. Just Make sure to use very pigmented eyeshadows. Go grab some eyeshadows and let the fun begin. I could wear this one. But why am I so pale? I wish I faked tanned yesterday. I have an idea. Take a normal body lotion and a golden eyeshadow or pigment to make your very own DIY body bronzer. Squeeze some body lotion into the pot. Grab a golden pigment or eyeshadow and pour some of it in as well. Give it a good stir to combine the two ingredients and that's pretty much it. You can now apply this body bronzer and it will give your skin the most beautiful sun-kissed glow. You can also add in shimmer and you're gonna shine, girl, trust me. Instant body bronzers can be very pricey. Well, you can make your DIY version for cheap and it works just as great. Matte lipsticks have been very popular lately. How wouldn't they be? They are super pigmented and they don't smudge. However, they can be very drying and after half an hour we end up looking like this. <laughs> Give your lips a break from all that dryness with an extremely moisturizing tinted lip balm which only requires two ingredients. A Vaseline and food coloring. Squeeze some Vaseline into a lip balm pot. 
grab your food coloring and take some product out using a toothpick. Stir it into the Vaseline to get a pretty red balm. Optionally, you can also add some flavoring. I'm using strawberry extract so that my lip balm will smell amazing too. Mix it again, put the lid on, and since packaging is important, I also decided to place on a little heart sticker. Voila, we got ourselves an amazing moisturizing tinted lip balm in like 30 seconds. I regularly put Vaseline on my lips every evening and now I can use it during the day as well. It makes my lips super soft and it gives them a nice rosy color. And not to forget, it smells like strawberries. Especially in the winter when our skin gets extra dry, this lip balm is a must have. I always run out of makeup products when I need them the most. Luckily, an eyeliner can be easily replaced by a usual coloring pencil. You can use black or just any other color of coloring pencils. Yep, get ready for some crazy eyeliner looks. Come on, I'll show you. First, you need to fill a glass with warm water. Pop your coloring pencils in with a tip facing down. Wait for about a minute and you're ready to use your pencils as eyeliners. Warm water softens the pencil, making it creamy and very pigmented, just like an eyeliner. Make sure to use non-toxic pencils when doing this. And keep in mind that pencils are not made to draw on skin every day. You can use this hack as an emergency when you run out of eyeliner or for a special occasion when you want to make that crazy eyeliner look. As you can see, I made a rainbow eyeliner using red, green, blue, orange and white pencils. This hack works so well, it's almost incredible. I mean, you can see the color payoff, it's crazy. All the different colors are working like magic, even better than many of the eyeliners I own. I'm truly impressed. Gosh, I'm so late. Okay, brows. Right, brow gel. Too late. Every second counts when getting ready in the morning, right? To save you some precious time, you can transform your two-step brow routine into a one-quick-step routine. Make your own tinted brow gel. All you need is a clear brow gel and some shadow that you use to fill in your brows. Scrape some of that shadow onto a piece of paper. I like to combine dark and light color to get the perfect eyebrow shade for me. You can make a funnel from a piece of paper and tape to help you pour the brown shadow into the tube. I'm also using a toothpick to push the product down. Lastly, we have to remove the funnel, put the little plastic lid back in the opening and we're all done. You can shake the bottle a little bit to help mix the gel with the brown shadow and you're ready to use your DIY tinted brow gel. This thing works so well, I was honestly surprised when I tried it for the first time. I know you can also buy a tinted brow gel in store, but normally they only have two versions, light or dark. My brows are somewhere in between and I love how I can mix up the perfect shade for myself. Mom, did you buy me a lip balm and mascara? Of course I did, sweetie. Here. Thanks, mom. What? I said a tinted lip balm. Everybody in school has them. Tinted lip balm is the same as lipstick. You're not allowed to wear it. And what is this? A transparent mascara? Is this a joke? You're too young for makeup. I told you many times. Now do your homework. I hate everything. <laughs> Your mom doesn't let you wear makeup either. Guess what? I'll show you three different ways to turn a plain and boring transparent lip balm into a beautiful tinted one. The three easiest ways to give color to a lip balm is by using lipstick shavings, food coloring and eyeshadow pigment. Make a double boiler by pouring water into a pan and placing in some smaller heatproof bowls. Grab a plain lip balm and pull it out of its container. Pop the lip balm into a double boiler. I have three containers as I'll show you three different versions. Here I'm taking a piece of my mom's lipstick hoping that she will never notice and popping it into to one of the melting pots. In the next container I'm adding a bit of eyeshadow pigment. In the last bowl I'm pouring some food coloring in a dust form because it mixes with oils better than liquid or gel food coloring. Leave the tinted lip balm mixtures to melt completely. You'll notice how the lipstick, pigment and food coloring will start giving a beautiful tint to our lip balm. Give all the three a quick little stir to distribute the color evenly and now you can take them off the heat. Pour the mixtures into a lipstick tube or lip balm pot and leave them to cool down completely. 
I love how they turned out. Think about how many different colors of tinted lip balms you can make. There's a huge variety of food colorings and you can get eyeshadow pigments in pretty much any possible color too. So you can really have a ton of fun creating different tinted lip balms. They will make your lips soft and pretty because they contain all the nourishing benefits of a lip balm. And since a bit of color never hurt nobody, they will also give your lips a bit of that pretty rosy, red or violet sheen. I always gotta have a lip balm with me wherever I go and if it also makes my lips pretty and colored, even better. Our tinted lip balms look amazing, but it's time to fix the clear mascara as well. To do that, I'm gonna be using, you guessed it, glitter. Open up your transparent mascara and remove the little plastic cap. Grab a paper funnel and place it in the opening. Choose your favorite glitter. You can go for one solid color or you can totally experiment and mix different glitter shades for fun, sparkly, colorful explosion. In the end, I decided to keep it classic and went for silver glitter. You guys know the drill, simply pour the glitter in the tube. The more glitter you use, more sparkly your lashes will be. Remove the funnel and place the plastic cap back on. Grab your mascara wand and you're ready to use this gorgeous sparkly mascara. I was quite skeptical when making this DIY because I didn't really know how the mascara will turn out and how the product will apply on the lashes. But OMG this DIY is one of my favorites because the mascara applies so lovely on the lashes and gives the most beautiful sparkle to the eyes. I was actually surprised how wearable this turned out. For me this is perfect for any party, a festival and honestly also every day. It really does not look over the top at all and the glitters aren't super visible. They just give those pretty reflective sparkles when they catch the light. I love clear mascaras as you can literally make anything out of them. They're like a blank canvas and allow you to have so much fun creating something new and epic. If you want to make a black mascara, simply mix in a bit of black eyeshadow. For colored mascaras, use colorful eyeshadows or pigments. Sky is the limit. I love my silver glitter mascara and I will wear it loads for sure. Oh, know that feeling? You're running late for school, but you just can't find anything in your messy room. If you have quite an extensive makeup collection, you need to get yourself a small makeup bag to store only makeup products that you need on a daily basis. And guess what? I'll show you how to make a gorgeous lip makeup bag from scratch. Grab some fabric of your choice and cut out two identical lip shapes. One of them should be cut in half across. Set the bigger lips piece aside and take a zipper. Apply a stripe of fabric glue along the top and bottom sides of the zipper. You can also use some thread and a needle if you don't have the fabric glue. Stick the bottom and the top lips to the zipper like that. Now you want to open up the zipper, that's really important. Next, place the bigger fabric lips on top with the front facing down. We're gonna sew all along this line to attach the front to the back side of our makeup bag. If you want, you can totally use the fabric glue, but I wanted to do some sewing for a change. When you're done sewing all around your makeup bag, make a knot and snip off the excess thread. Luckily, we've opened up the zipper beforehand, so now we can flip the pouch inside out through that opening. Voila, here's our super cute lips makeup pouch all done. Inside, you can store the makeup necessities which you need every morning. That way, you will avoid digging throughout the entire makeup collection when you really don't have time for that. You can also use this one as a pencil case or have it in your school bag or purse to store your lipstick, concealer or other bits and bobs needed to touch up your makeup. Before putting on my makeup, I like to exfoliate my lips. Put some Vaseline on your toothbrush. I know it sounds weird and no, we're not gonna brush our teeth again. Instead, rub the toothbrush all over your lips in gentle circular motion. The bristles will exfoliate the lips and remove dead skin cells while Vaseline will moisturize them. Result are plumpy, voluminous and softest lips ever. When running late, opt for a cushion foundation. They are compact, easy to use and quick to apply. I have two great cushion foundation hacks to share. When you already think that there's no product left in the pot, grab some tweezers and flip the sponge upside down. You'll see there's still a lot of foundation in there. You just got yourself quite a few extra uses. Another trick, if there's absolutely no foundation left, add a few pumps of any other foundation that comes in a regular packaging. That way you can use your favorite foundation in a cushion form, which is the quickest and easiest to apply. The best way to apply your makeup as quickly as possible is to double the purpose of product. This face palette will work for my face and for my eyes too. I like to apply the highlighter all over the lid using a fluffy brush or my finger. This will brighten up the eyes, making you look healthy and awake. Bronzer is perfect for creating some depth in the crease. A few swipes back and forth and our eyes have a lot more defined and romantic oh, yeah. look. 
Use the same palette to highlight the tops of your cheekbones. You will make your skin super glowy and pretty. I have a double-sided brush so I can simply flip it around, pick up some bronzer and dust it across my forehead and sides of the face to warm up my complexion. I'm totally not a makeup expert, so I don't take these things too seriously. I just wipe the products here and there, hoping for an okay result. To save up some time, try using your mascara as eyeliner. It works just as great and saves you a minute or two. To be on the safer side, opt for the waterproof formula, because we want to stay away from smudgy eyeliner, right? Cat eyes are done, time to give some love to the lashes using the exact same product. How convenient! You guys know me, I always opt for super natural, subtle makeup that slightly enhances my natural features. But I 100% don't do this every single day. Even if I do wear makeup, usually there's just a bit of foundation and maybe some tinted lip balm. Okay, speaking of lips, when running late, I always choose a peachy pink moisturizing lipstick. Pop some of it on your cheeks and blend out with your fingers. It works exactly like a cream blush and will give you that beautiful rosy flush. Now swipe it across the lips too. Such lipsticks are easy to apply and you don't need to be careful at all. Hooray, my makeup is done and I'm very pleased with how it looks. To take the makeup off, I'm using my DIY makeup remover pads. Grab any kind of a jar, fill it with cotton pads. Then take your favorite makeup remover or micellar water and pour it into the jar so that the cotton pads get nicely soaked. Put the lid on and you have your DIY makeup remover pads ready. I think this hack is genius as it saves you so much time every day when you're taking your makeup off. I got a very sensitive skin and store-bought makeup wipes or pads really make it irritated. So this DIY is perfect for me as I can use my favorite makeup remover to create the DIY pads and I know my skin will love them. Keeping my skincare routine as simple as possible has really done wonders for my skin. Lastly, I slap on my favorite moisturizer and I'm off. After that, I take my DIY Lash Serum, which makes your lashes grow so much fuller. I'm not even kidding, it's a magic product. To make it, you have to fill half of the bottle with castor oil, then add some vitamin B. I'm using a syringe to do that. Lastly, add some almond oil into the bottle as well, and you get an awesome eyelash serum. I've been using this serum every night for a month, and I'm already seeing a big difference. Lashes start growing much thicker and fuller. I've never tried lash extensions, and I find false lashes hard to apply and pretty uncomfortable. I much prefer natural remedies like this. You can also use this serum for your eyebrows or even the hairline. Works wonders! Before starting with makeup, I like to exfoliate and prep my lips. I made this pretty lip scrub myself. Here's how. I'm making a rainbow scrub, so I need 4 containers. Put 1 tablespoon of sugar in each container. Add half a teaspoon of olive oil. Optionally, you can put in a few drops of flavoring and scent. I went for strawberry and peppermint. Lastly, add some food coloring into each container. I chose green, yellow, blue and red. Mix well until all the ingredients are nicely combined. Pour the scrub mixtures into a little jar or any other container of your choice. In goes my green scrub, followed by the blue layer. Here comes yellow scrub and lastly the red one. How pretty it looks with all the colored layers. This could make for a gorgeous gift as well, but I'm keeping it for myself. I like to rub it on my lips to exfoliate them. Wipe the scrub away or simply eat it because this is completely edible. I'm applying on a bit of lip balm and my lips are all prepped. For my face, I like using the cushion foundations, which are becoming very popular lately. They give such a natural and glowy finish to my skin. I don't want no dark circles, so I'm applying concealer on the inner corners of my eyes. To define those eyes, I like to swipe some brown shadow on the crease using a fluffy blending brush. On the lid, I'm first applying some white base using my finger. This makes your lid shadow pop much more, giving you brighter and more awake look. On top of the white base, I'm popping light pinkish eyeshadow using a sponge applicator that came with the palette. Smudging some black shadow on the top lash line makes the lashes look fuller while keeping that natural look. Before curling the lashes, warm your eyelash curler using a blow dryer. The logic is the same as with the hot tools that we use for styling our hair. The lash curl will be more pronounced and will last much longer. If your mascara is a bit old and the brush is getting clumpy, don't stress out. Place the brush under the warm running water for 10 seconds and the brush will be as clean as new. If the mascara itself has dried out, you can dip it into a glass filled with warm water and wait for 10 seconds. The heat will soften up the product and you'll get many more use of your favorite mascara. You can see how much I love this pinky blush. I'm almost out of it. For the lips, I chose this pretty curly pink lipstick. 
A cool hack which makes your lips appear fuller is using some light shadow, concealer or powder on the center of your lips. Another way to fuller looking lips is making your own plumping lip gloss. Just drip a few drops of peppermint oil into your lip gloss and shake it well. Apply it on and boom! Lips look plumpier and prettier. Every second is precious when getting ready in the okay. morning. And let's not even discuss the fact that the more you are in a hurry, the more difficult it is to draw a nice cat eye. Uh, whatever. I have an amazing hack that will help you make the perfect cat line in no time. Take a pencil. I know it sounds strange, but trust me on this one. Pull the eraser off the pencil and grab an exacto knife. Cut off a small piece like I'm doing here. Rotate the eraser and snip away another piece so that you're left with a little triangle shape on top. This looks perfect. Place it on the pencil again and we have the perfect tool for our cat eyeliner. Dip the triangle shaped eraser in a gel eyeliner pot to pick up some product. Now stamp the cat line on the outer corner of your eyes. Wow. So quick and easy. Time to repeat the steps on the other eye as well. Pick up some product and just like using a stamp, make a print on the eyelid. You can also use your liquid eyeliner to color the eraser. This hack works so well and makes it so easy to get nice symmetric cat lines on both eyes. I love cat eye makeup but hate how difficult it is to draw. It always turns out asymmetrical and everything just gets way worse when I'm in a hurry. So happy that with this life hack I can achieve the perfect cat eyes with a blink of an eye.